Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. My name's Christina. So you already know what today's video is going to be about. It is my March TBR and you're curious to know what I'll be reading in March. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. So we're going to go ahead and jump into today's video because this is another ambitious TBR for me. And by ambitious, I mean I typically don't read this many books in a month, but since I was such a success... In February I decided to make another ambitious TBR for March so that's what we're doing and I hope you guys are excited so buckle in and we're gonna go ahead and get into the video starting off with the first book here at the top we have Finley Donovan is killing it by uh, L Cosimano so I only picked this book up because of Miss Olivia Rizalate she said it was good and she really loved it so I'm like you sold me and not only that, it's supposed to be like a cozy mystery vibe. So A plus, check, check, check. That's for me, for sure. I am a cozy mystery woman. We love a good cozy mystery. So I'm excited to read what this is all about. I think, I think the main character is like hired to be an assassin. I think. Don't quote me. I really don't know. I basically picked this up because Olivia said it was a good book and it, she loved it so I wanted to give it a go and um at this point I'm just really really excited to know what's going on also the main character is a mom so I can relate because I am a mother of four so mom hitman it sounds like a good read but I don't know I could be wrong about the hitman situation we'll find out whenever I pick it up for March but I'm really really excited for this one the next book was a very popular book way back when I started booktube um, and I've been wanting to read it but I haven't so now I'm taking this as an opportunity to read it and that is Serpent and Dove by Shelby Mayron. Mayron? Um, yeah I've not read any of these books. I've not read a book by this author I don't believe um, or I don't even know if she's had any other books but this series it's a trilogy. So many people have loved this series. I remember when I first got into booktube, this was like a really hyped series, I guess, because the second book was coming out. Um, and I never got around to picking it up because I wasn't really about following hyped books. I've changed quite a bit since then. Um, I follow hyped books now, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> but i am still excited i believe this is kind of like witchy vibes i was gonna read this in october because of that but i never got to it so now i am trying to work through my tbr and this was one of the books that jumped out at me and was like you need to read me already so that's why we're picking this one up i don't know anything about it and i am just really curious to see what my thoughts are going to be about with this book and hopefully i'll enjoy it just as much as everybody else has we have fake it till you bake it by jamie wesley this is a gorgeous cover it's giving me very much i am going to make you fall in love with me with my baked goods vibes because the man is carrying cupcakes on a platter and he looks like he is trying to win her heart over with some cupcakes the cover is beautiful this is really really pretty very simple but gorgeous um i don't know anything about this i want to say maybe it's fake dating or maybe second chance romance not too sure um and i've not read anything by this author but nonetheless i'm just really excited to get into it i picked this book up what, last year i think or i bought it last year and i never picked it up so now like i said i'm just working through my year long tbr <laughs> And this is another book that like jumped out at me. The next book I'm going to be sharing with you guys is a very hyped book. And two of my friends have told me that I'll probably really enjoy it. So I'm taking their word for it. And that is Legendborn by Tracy Dion. This is a beautiful cover as well. Um, I think they said it's kind of like retelling vibes. And I'm all for a good retelling. It's fantasy as well. I don't know anything about this. I just know a lot of people rave about this book because the second one came out like was it last month i think it was last month if i'm not mistaken or yeah i don't remember but i know the second book recently came out so this has been all over social media all over booktube booktalk instagram twitter facebook you name it 
it's been around. So I decided that I'm going to pick it up because if my friends tell me that I'm going to like it, I'm going to trust their judgment and roll with it. So I'm excited. I haven't read very many fantasy books as of late, so I'm really excited to slowly start dipping more into fantasy because I do love fantasy books. And the next book I plan on picking up is um, Love Love in the Time of a Serial Killer by Alicia. Is it Alicia? Alicia Thompson? Thomas? Thompson. Oh my gosh. This is, <laughs> that's the author. I don't know. Obviously, it doesn't even show the author. Oh, up here. But yes, this is giving me Bailey Syrian vibes. I don't know why, but it is. And I'm a huge fan. Um, I believe the main character is like a true crime reader i guess i don't know i am not gonna pretend to know anything about this book i basically picked it up because of the cover um and i think i heard who talked about this book was it mel from mel reads oh i don't remember but i know they read this and they enjoyed it but it wasn't like their favorite but it was still a good read um the blurb on the front really got me too it says the true crime is a not reading this novel so I'm like, okay, but that was blurred by Allie Hazelwood and I didn't like their book, but I'm still going to give this one a try. Um, it's still very, very much like February vibes because of the cover is pink and hearts, but I'm going to read it in March because I want to. I really don't have no other explanation than I just, I want to read it. The next um, book I will be reading this month is Twisted Games by Anna Huang. This is the second book in the Twisted series and i really enjoyed the first book you're gonna have to wait for my wrap up to get my thoughts on that one but i am ready to jump back in to the second book i believe these can be standalones but they each like have characters from each story pop in through each book did that make sense hopefully it did but i'm really excited for this one this one is following um one of the main characters of the last book's best friend's security guard i think so i'm all here for it and most likely all right i just had a phone call so i don't remember what i was saying about this book but i am excited and i believe each story has some type of like damage no i don't want to say damage because that's pretty mean but like traumatized is traumatized the right word man so usually it's like a damsel in distress type of situation when it comes to romances but in these cases i believe it's the men that are like struggling i don't know how to really put it you would think it's like they're damaged like they've been through some rough things in their lives and it's caused them to like be very standoffish is what i'm trying to say so whatever you can like think of an appropriate word to call these men that's what these books are about Next book is Tessa Bailey Hook Um. Nope, that's not what it's called. <laughs> Hook, Line, and Sinker. And again, it's by Tessa Bailey. I read the first book in February with my friend's book club. So we're going to be picking up this one for March. Um, I enjoyed it. Again, these are standalones, but when you read them together, you notice like same characters popping up in each book. So that's you can read them you don't have to read the first book to read this one or you don't have to read this one you can only read this one or the other one it's not like you need to read them both but we are reading both and i'm really excited because uh the main characters on this on in this book i can't talk oh my gosh you would think the coffee kicked in but it hasn't the main characters in this book were in the last book so and it's their story now and i'm excited i'm really really excited because I, I I was definitely vibing with them in the first book, so I can't wait to see exactly what's going to happen in this book. That's, that's all I'm saying. Next book I picked up, or the next book I'll be reading for March is If if He Had Been With Me by Laura Nolan. Nolan? So this one I picked up basically because it was circling around Facebook and TikTok and a lot of people have said that it's a very hard-hitting book it was giving me very much a thousand boy kisses so in that book you guys are going to hear me talk about it so much it literally destroyed me 
um you know i'm still on that journey to cry that one made me fucking cry so i guess i'm clearly not done with the waterworks so i'm gonna be reading this one and i'm excited for it the next book i'm picking up is christina lauren the soulmate equation i put another christina lauren on my tbr for this month last month i put a christina lauren book on my tbr so this month i'm putting another one um because why not um don't know anything about this book we'll see about this one whenever i jump into it and the last physical book i plan on picking up is hunting by stars and this is by sherry demaline um so this one sounded super interesting when i picked it up like last year um it's basically about these people getting their bone marrow stolen i want to say indigenous i think it's indigenous people getting their bone marrow stolen from them because it's supposed to be like healing something like that i don't know i don't want to read the synopsis all over again but i know that this one was somewhere along the lines of that um i'm excited to read it and see what it's all about oh it even says down here a marrow thieves novel we'll see I'm just really trying to get through my yearly TBR and I've been wanting to read this one for a while. I just never got to it and now I'm going to get to it this year. So I'm excited. And the last book I'll be reading is on my Kindle. And the only reason why I'm reading this book is because of FOMO. Um, and that is Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. I'm going to give it a try, you guys. I'm seriously going to give it a try. I found that it was on Kindle Unlimited. So I downloaded it and I will be reading that one in March. Hopefully I'll get into it because the second one just came out and everybody seems to be in love with this book series. But if not, like I'm not going to be upset. I just had serious FOMO with this and I just want to make sure that I'm not missing out on something good potentially. But other than that, that is it for today's video. Hopefully you guys found it very entertaining. <laughs> And you liked the video um let me know down below what you plan on reading this month if you plan on reading any of these books if you've read any of these books um but yeah don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next one bye